Welcome to the 2024 California DMV Written Test. This test has 25 questions to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one. What is one reason why driving under the influence of drugs is risky? A. It can lead to a dependency on drugs. B. It increased fuel consumption. C. It impairs physical and mental functions necessary for driving. D. It is less detectable by police than alcohol. The correct answer is C. It impairs physical and mental functions necessary for driving. Question 2. In what situation is it illegal to make a U-turn? A. On a one-way street. B. In a business district. C. Near the top of a hill where you cannot see 500 feet in both directions. D. All of the above. The correct answer is C. Near the top of a hill where you cannot see 500 feet in both directions. Question 3. What precautions should you take before passing another vehicle? A. Signal your intention to the other driver. B. Speed up to overtake quickly. C. Flash your headlights to indicate your presence. D. Check for clear visibility and sufficient space. The correct answer is D. Check for clear visibility and sufficient space. Question 4. Under what condition can you cross a double yellow line to pass another vehicle? A. Never. B. When the line closest to your side is broken. C. When the line closest to the other vehicle is broken. D. When no other vehicles are approaching from the opposite direction. The correct answer is C. When the line closest to the other vehicle is broken. Question 5. In a left turn, where there is a green arrow signal for your lane, you should A. Stop and check for oncoming traffic. B. Yield to pedestrians, then proceed with the turn. C. Proceed with the turn without stopping. D. Wait for a full green light. The correct answer is B. Yield to pedestrians, then proceed with the turn. Question 6. What is the recommended action when driving through a construction zone? A. Increase speed to pass through quickly. B. Ignore construction signs and warnings. C. Follow posted signs and reduce speed. D. Honk at construction workers to get their attention. The correct answer is C. Follow posted signs and reduce speed. Question 7. What should you do when driving on an icy or slippery road and need to come to a stop? A. Slam on the brakes abruptly. B. Pump the brakes gently. C. Engage the emergency brake. D. Shift into a lower gear. The correct answer is B. Pump the brakes gently. Question 8. What is the proper procedure for turning at an intersection with multiple turn lanes? A. Choose any lane, then merge into your desired lane during the turn. B. Stay in your lane before, during, and after the turn. C. Signal and change lanes in the middle of the intersection. D. Turn from the lane closest to your desired direction, then change lanes. The correct answer is B. Stay in your lane before, during, and after the turn. Question 9. Before passing a vehicle on a two-lane road, you should A. Turn on your high beams. B. Make sure the passing lane is clear of traffic. C. Reduce your speed. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B. Make sure the passing lane is clear of traffic. Question 10. When making a U-turn, you must A. Yield to all oncoming traffic. B. Signal for at least five seconds. C. Make the turn quickly to avoid oncoming traffic. D. Ensure the turn is not prohibited by signs. The correct answer is D. Ensure the turn is not prohibited by signs. Question 11. What is the primary reason that alcohol is a risk to drivers? A. It is addictive. B. It impairs judgment and coordination. C. It is illegal to consume in public places. D. 
it causes aggression? The correct answer is B. It impairs judgment and coordination. Question 12. During nighttime, what poses the greatest visibility challenge? A. Foggy conditions. B. Heavy rain. C. Glare from oncoming headlights. D. Reduced speed limits. The correct answer is C. Glare from oncoming headlights. Question 13. What does a provisional license indicate on a driving record? A. The driver is under a certain age and subject to restrictions. B. The driver has full driving privileges. C. The driver has never received a traffic violation. D. The record is provisional and not final. The correct answer is A. The driver is under a certain age and subject to restrictions. Question 14. What should you do when a dust storm reduces visibility on a windy day while driving on the freeway? A. Drive slower and turn on your hazard lights. B. Increase speed to get through the dust storm quickly. C. Pull over and wait for the dust storm to pass. D. Keep driving at the same speed but use windshield wipers. The correct answer is A. Drive slower and turn on your hazard lights. Question 15. In heavy snow, what is the best way to increase your vehicle's visibility to other drivers? A. Drive with your hazard lights on. B. Use your high beam headlights at all times. C. Keep the vehicle's exterior lights and windshield clean. D. Attach brightly colored flags to your vehicle. The correct answer is C. Keep the vehicle's exterior lights and windshield clean. Question 16. What should you do to prepare your vehicle for winter driving conditions? A. Ensure your tires are properly inflated and have adequate tread depth. B. Keep the gas tank nearly empty to save weight. C. Use summer tires for better grip. D. Reduce antifreeze levels. The correct answer is A. Ensure your tires are properly inflated and have adequate tread depth. Question 17. Can errors on your driving record be corrected? A. Yes, but only within 24 hours of the error. B. No. Once recorded, information cannot be changed. C. Yes, by providing proof of the error to the DMV. D. Only for minor errors, such as spelling mistakes. The correct answer is C. Yes, by providing proof of the error to the DMV. Question 18. You are driving on a one-way street, and an emergency vehicle with flashing lights approaches from behind. What should you do? A. Increase your speed to clear the way. B. Pull over to the left side and stop. C. Maintain your speed and stay in your lane. D. Change lanes and continue driving. The correct answer is B. Pull over to the left side and stop. Question 19. What privileges does a Class C driver's license grant? A. Operating motorcycles and commercial vehicles. B. Operating passenger vehicles and light trucks. C. Operating heavy trucks and buses. D. Operating all types of vehicles on public roads. The correct answer is B. Operating passenger vehicles and light trucks. Question 20. What factor does not affect BAC? A. The type of alcoholic beverage. B. The time of day. C. The speed of drinking. D. Your body weight. The correct answer is B. The time of day. Question 21. When merging onto a freeway, what should you do? A. Speed up and quickly merge into traffic. B. Stop at the beginning of the acceleration lane. C. Signal, check your mirrors, and merge smoothly with the flow of traffic. D. Slow down and wait for a large gap before merging. The correct answer is C. Signal, check your mirrors, and merge smoothly with the flow of traffic. Question 22. What should you do if you touch the curb while parallel parking? A. Immediately stop and pull out of the space. B. Continue parking as if nothing happened. C. 
Adjust your car to ensure it is the correct distance from the curb. D. Leave a note on the nearest car apologizing for any inconvenience. The correct answer is C. Adjust your car to ensure it is the correct distance from the curb. Question 23. What should you do if you start to pass a vehicle but then realize you do not have enough space to complete the maneuver safely? A. Continue passing and speed up to get past the vehicle quickly. B. Signal and move back into your lane behind the vehicle. C. Use the shoulder as additional space to pass. D. Honk your horn to alert the other driver. The correct answer is B. Signal and move back into your lane behind the vehicle. Question 24. What is the recommended approach for maintaining a space cushion while driving? A. Following closely behind the vehicle in front. B. Keeping a fixed distance regardless of conditions. C. Adjusting the following distance based on traffic and road conditions. D. Maintaining the same speed as the vehicle in front. The correct answer is C. Adjusting the following distance based on traffic and road conditions. Question 25. What should you use to indicate you are turning if your turn signals fail? A. Your hazard lights. B. Your horn. C. Hand signals. D. Flash your high beams. The correct answer is C. Hand signals. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click the link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on your first try.